Imagine this. You are taking a walk in a forest on a warm summer evening. The nature surrounding you is quiet, yet you can feel it's alive. You know that feeling? When you are walking down the strutting path and there are hundreds of fireflies and other bugs surrounding you, but you have no care in the world. You are just present, right here, in this forest, on this path. And this is where the entire world begins and ends. That's the feeling. That's what I want my players to experience while playing my game. So, how do we achieve that in this one dev look? The answer is we can't, but what we can do is focus on the first part of it, the visuals. I want you as a player to feel that you are looking through the top of the forest canopy into this different yet familiar world. It's almost like you were flying over this dense forest and then out of nowhere a window to this tail appeared. We can achieve this effort by creating a forest surrounding the playable area. And luckily for us, tile sets exist. Now, with the power of tile sets and rural tiles, we can paint the forest however we like. I hate to admit it, but I've spent way too much trying to get this to work with Unity rule tiles since my tile set is really complicated. But the solution that I came up with is kinda cool. So if you want to check it out, I posted snippets of the code and my solution on my Patreon, link in the description. Setting boundaries. As a game developer, you should want your players to instantly know what they can and cannot access. For me, that's where the water comes in, because everyone knows that tears can swim, right? Right? Ah, oh, sh**. Anyway, I had two ways I could approach making this water. Option one, hand draw it. Option two, shader time. So it turns out making a water shader that is going to look good in Pixart is extremely hard. So back to option one, I guess. Damn, water. Animals are a huge part of making the forest feel alive. The obvious thing to do would be to bring the game's focus point, the deer, to life. However, there is much more we can do, but let's start with the deer. The problem with the deer right now is that he's not walking, he's just sliding on the ground. So let's add a walk animation. And god, why animating animals is so hard. This took me 5 hours to do, please subscribe. Next thing our deer is missing is an idle animation. But I don't want to do just a simple bobbing up and down animation, I want there to be some emotion behind it. That's why I have made two idle animations that will play depending on what is happening in the game. When the deer is completely safe, he will be eating grass, but as soon as there is any danger, he is going to look around nervously. But that's not enough wildlife, we need more. Now we have birds, frogs, fireflies, and the fireflies only took me 20 minutes to add, which means I am better than a certain big game developer company. I am looking at you, Mojang. Sometimes, in game dev, things happen that you didn't plan for. Paths were one of those things for me. You see, back when I made water... I didn't think about how our characters are going to move through it. Now, fear not, because bridges fix all our issues. Except for one. The problem being, why would there be a bridge in the middle of a forest? So that's where paths come in. People want to walk through here. That's why there is a bridge. Pretty genius if I do say so myself. Okay, we need to talk about someone special. Mint. You see, Mint has requested Shadow in the comment section of the last devlog. And I promise you Mint, I will not disappoint you. Uh, so I just slapped this thing under the deer and called it a day. Anyway, that concludes this video, but before you leave, I have an exciting announcement to make. When this channel reaches 1000 subscribers, I know we're a bit off, like 772 off. So subscribe, I believe in you. There is going to be a competition for you to get your own character into the game. So make sure to join our Discord because that's where the competition is going to be happening once we hit our goal. There will be a special chat for you to post your ideas and out of those ideas I will choose 5 that the community is going to vote on. 
Also, if you want to support the development of the deer hunt, check out my Patreon, or if you want to learn game development yourself, give a try to my 100% free game development beginner course. First link in the description.